Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Ha ha ha! Ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers. All to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Baldorian simply... Get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city. But so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Always, my friend. But the villain I must needs slay today is my greatest yet. A deadline. You won't be surprised to find I'm soon to publish a little holiday read about our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Oh, that would be telling, wouldn't it? But believe you me, my friend, not a word could have been written without you. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'd write a draft, and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. There's something strange in your old friend's mouth. What is it? familiar invitation. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. But it isn't a ball. It's the astral prism.
Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. He whines. Less talk, more throw. I'd had time to polish up the horns. This one night is like any other, and yet different. 
Thou art the savior of Baldur's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? If thou could only see the paths of fate untaken, thy mind would surely break. Be glad of thy chosen path. It is, after all, thine. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over, for now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you. art the dead three thy faces gods thy actions barely worthy of the name didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed didst believe i would not notice thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals but souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 